So this is the second part of the octagonal pyramid. In the first lesson we do the front side and plan and development of a whole octagonal pyramid. But now I've truncated off the top part of that pyramid to see how that is going to change the other views. All right, So that part has been removed, so I've lined in a darker outline for the bottom half, the one I've kept. Now the first thing you do after you truncate is you start numbering. So this part here is the shortest side of the new pyramid, of the truncated pyramid. So I'm going to give that number one. So that could be either this side or this side for number one. I'm going to choose this as my first number. And then just go around numbering each corner of the plan. Those numbers should also be projected onto the front. So here I have one, that should be two, three, four is on this side, five is with the four, six, seven is with the two, and eight is back to one. Project the numbers onto the side view. Here I have one, this is one, two is on this side, three is with the two, four, five, six, seven, you can check simply by projecting. Now what you have to do is see where each of those lines, so this was the original one, the original number one line, number one edge, and the number one edge has been cut here. So all you have to do now is project, project that cut, the new height of number one, onto both the side view so that gives me here because this is line number one and onto the plan here. This is number one, the new number one has been cut down to here. Now number one has been cut the same height as number eight. So there you've got number eight as well. And the same thing I could have done here number 8. This is where 2 and 7 have been cut. 2 and 7. And 2 and 7 is here and here. <coughs> this is where 3 and 6 have been cut. Just follow the numbers. 3 is on the edge. Seven, 6 is on the edge as well. And the top part, 4 and 5, projected 4 is this line. 5 is this line. So that gives you the view of the truncated pyramid looking into the opening. This top part has been removed, so you should darken the bottom part. Line it with an HB pencil. Now the same is done for the plan. So we've already got two points, one and four. Two and seven projected up. This is two, this is seven. Remember, this is line two, this is line seven. So the two and seven from here are taken to the 2 and 7 on there. This is 3 and 6, 3 and 6, and the top parts are 4 and 5, 4 and 5. So the plan, similarly join the dots between these numbers. Now that's the cut as seen from above. It's still an octagon, but now it's an irregular octagon since the bottom part of the pyramid is much wider than the top part. And this is the part that's remained, so you darken out this part. And that's your plan.
that's our plan. Let's go to the development. The development. Now these lines projected from the front view should hit also the development. That's the reason I've projected the development in line with the front view. So one, all the lines should hit the first line of the development because that's the true length. Now what you need to do is project each of those lines to its appropriate number. So this has been taken from number one. I forgot to number these first, so we'll always start from number one for the development. One, two, three. And always finish at number one. Or finish off where you've started. So this is number one. Number one should go all the way to the other side as well. This compass has a very faint line, which is not very visible. Let me use the other compass. So here we have 2 and 7. We're going to rotate it. And that should be marked where number 2 and number 7 are. Where I had my number one, let me darken it. Where I had my number one, it was also with number eight. So that should have three marks. Two for number one and one for number eight. So one and seven. Now I've got the three and six line. The top line is the 4 and 5 line. Now these numbers, where am I? I'm, I'm getting them from this view. 4 and 5, it's the top line. Projected onto the true shape, so taken down to 4 and 5. But once you get used to these, they're pretty obvious where each marking should be. And again, join the, lot, join the dots with straight lines. That's the development. Now each of these edges should be a fold line. A fold line as we did before is one line with two edges with two sh shorter lines dashed in between that's your development. Last thing remaining is the true shape, which is how would that opening, the shape of that opening, if you were to draw a lid for this opening. Because the plan does not necessarily, does not show you the true shape of the opening since you're not looking at it at 90 degrees. So, so far we have this truncated pyramid, that would be the top view, the side view is looking at it into the opening, the development, that's your development, and now I want the true shape. The true shape is that opening there. Now, project lines from the true length of the cut so I'm going to this was with 45 degrees so I'm going to project at 45 degree angle this cut here a line 
45 degrees the other way, which would mean that that line is parallel to that cut. And I'm going to project also each edge. Alright, so don't confuse this line, that was the 45 degree line I used before. There's no need to rub it out, I'm going to rub it out if I find the right to avoid confusion. Now, so the true shape is that long, not that long, it's that long, but it keeps the same width. So the width I'm going to take from the plan. From the plan. So follow carefully where you take the width from. This point here is point one and eight. This line is this line. So this line is the center of my true shape. So place the point of the compass on the center line and open the compass up to that true that section. Not to the base, on the outer edge, on the inner edge, on your section. There. And that's point one and eight. Go to point seven and two on the center line and open your compass up to seven, which is the same distance as point two. Six and three, six and three. And the last point, five and four, that bit and that bit. Just line in the true shape with your HP pencil. Remember, this is a symmetrical shape, so it should appear symmetrical that's why we take we measured everything from the center line so that's your true shape it's the same width as this but is that as long as this it's as if we've taken this shape and stretched it out to be this long and that's your true shape all right those are four main views of a truncated pyramid.